Hey, Hammered. I've been thinking about what you were saying about, um, like, say there's a guy with uh, spiky hair, uh, silver uh, contact lenses, uh, piercings all over, a uh, tattoo on his neck, um, and likes to dress as if uh, he's a vampire from the future uh, that uh, just got, uh, just escaped from the apocalypse. And he complains that he's like, people stare at me constantly. It's like they can't even stop staring at me. And I'm like, well, what, I was thinking, what could he do uh, to have people not stare at him? You know, other than change the way he looks. Um, and that's the thing, like, you could stop doing that, but uh, um, I think that there's so many things that we need to be doing more of that are frowned upon. Um, like, you know, women breastfeeding in public, that shouldn't be a big deal for people, but it is. Um, I know that in like the farming community, some farmers want to go to all natural uh, uh, pest control. Um, like they don't want to put chemicals uh, all over their uh, property. Um, or have chemicals on their property, they have to worry about having their kids get around. Because um, they might get into rashes or even die, some of them are so powerful. Um, but, uh, but, you know, people are, are forced to conform um, because other people are uh, unwilling to think outside the box or uh, unwilling to see that as some sort of th sign of a threat um, or, you know, inappropriate. Um, so I was thinking, what could the guy do? And uh, um, one thing I thought he could do was uh, he could write comic books, you know, with his, uh, his kind of look in them and so you know popular comic books you know maybe even that uh, maybe you can do local movies and do a um, he, he could film a movie with uh, with uh, you know people who look like him to kind of like try to introduce um, unusual looks into the mainstream um, I thought uh, what if he got into fashion design and uh, started making uh, lines of clothing um, especially when you start involving uh, materials from uh, uh, local artists and uh, artisans um, where people stop seeing this person as kind of like an oddball that doesn't fit in and actually see it uh, like this is just a person who's, an, who's artistic and likes to express themselves and they're very interested in uh, the people around them and uh, you know if they're like say they're running uh, a, a fashion business let's say like then other business people could understand that especially if it benefits them if he's purchasing products from them and especially if it becomes successful. Um, I also thought, like, what if he went into politics? What if he started running for city council? What if he started sitting in on all uh, community meetings and keeping track of everybody's concerns and especially highlighting the concerns of people that when somebody wants to do something that doesn't fit in, this person could almost um, not only start collecting and cataloging all these stories, these, these ladies that... Uh, uh, got uh, yelled at for breastfeeding in public, or uh, the farmer that got yelled at by his neighbors by not stopping using chemicals. They're like, you're just going to be a big attractor for insects. You're going to wreck our farms. If I make ne less money next year, I'm going to sue you. Um, you know, he could start being like a champion for uh, individuality and for uh, you know, striking out on your own, um, you know, or making your own decisions and uh, take that to politics. And then you know, the whole idea that you know the non-traditional looks actually, in, in some ways, was going to hurt him, and that's the point. Uh, and in other ways, uh, draw even more attention to it's not how you look; it's uh, it's you know the quality of your character, the content of uh, of your personality. Like it's uh, it's what's in your mind that's important, not uh, not the piercings on your face. And uh, yeah, I thought maybe this person could just actually uh, be even more in the forefront, draw even more attention to himself, and then actually kind of blaze the trails for other people. They're like, you know, I've always wanted to spike my hair. Um, or I think tattoos are cool, but I'm afraid no one will hire me if I have one that's v very visible. Um, but the more and more people that push the boundary and, uh, you know, in a way suffer for us, allow us to uh, express ourselves even more. Um, because they, uh, they, paid the, they paid the price by getting stared at all the time. I get to wear my post-apocalyptic jacket down the road, and uh, people give it a second look, but they don't stop and stare. They're like, oh, it's just one of those 
Maybe it's one of those uh, Dungeons and Dragons players or something like that. You know, something that everyone's heard of and they can understand. So, yeah. So, um, is, like, what do you think? Like, imagine a character uh, like you describe and uh, what would his life be? How would he uh, handle being stared at and how would he try to make it better, uh, especially for, you know, say his kids that w might want to look uh, unusual. You know, they want to express themselves in however way they feel like. All right, I got to run. I'll talk to you later, though. Uh, peace out.